goals for themselves. Gary Casey's managed to finish second four weeks in a row. Well, second's good here. We, we know that now. And, uh, of course, uh, Tom Morgan let us know about that, right. too, over the week. So. All right, let's meet our four bowlers and get a look at them uh, for this week's show. First of all, our two returning bowlers from Vernon, Vermont, Tim Susie, and from Lemonster, Massachusetts, Gary Casey. Okay, Tim coming for his third appearance, averaging 127, and Gary making his fifth appearance, his average is 134. And as we mentioned, uh, all four of those previous appearances for Gary Casey, he has finished four, uh, second. Second, the last two weeks, he's finished second to Tim Susie, who, as Dan mentioned, is now making his third straight appearance here on the program. They will be joined by our two incoming bowlers, the roll-off held in the North Shore area in Massachusetts, and they both come from Lynn, Sean Baker and Mike Morgan. Okay, Sean comes in averaging 122, and they're from Lynn, and they have like averages, too. <laughs> Mike Morgan at 122. All right, and of course, uh, as always, we review the operational procedures here on Candlepin Skins. For those of you who may be tuning into the program for the first time, no, it's it's not traditional candle pin bowling as you become accustomed. Yes, we do keep score in the normal way, and we do keep total fin pinfall for two games, two games total pinfall to determine the two bowlers that return from week to week. But then there's also the question of skins as well. Again, bowlers compete individually, one box at a time. The high box, the high score in each box wins the skin. The skin is a dollar value that's been assigned to each box. If the high score is tied in a particular box, then the dollar value carries over to the next box and the jackpot increases. Now, as for the total pinfall, that's important because the top two of our four bowlers in total pinfall return each week with a chance to earn more money. Now, here's the way the money breakdown works. The top first three boxes in each game are worth $20. Boxes four, five, and six worth $25 each. Boxes seven through nine are worth $30 each. And the tenth box in each of our two games worth $75. Of course, we look for the carryovers and the big money. We know you do, too. We'll be back to start our match here at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill right after this timeout. Don't go away. Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Welcome back to Candlepin Skins. As we mentioned, the final roll-off for today's show was held in the North Shore, actually at the Metro Bowl in Peabody, Massachusetts, to be specific. Sean Baker finishing on top with the 681. Mike Morgan also qualifying for the show with the 671. The other three guys just missed out of the top two spots. Chris Sargent finishing third. Dave Arsenal, both of them have been with us before. And Ray McGurk finishing in fifth. But Sean and Mike are the two guys who made it to this point, and they are both here now, ready to go here on Candlepin Skins. Of course, uh, both have been here previously. Both have been here this season, in fact. Oh, almost starting off with a strike. Everything but the six pin for Mike Morgan. The eligibility requirements for candle pin skins, by the way. After the bowlers lose here on Candlepin Skins after they are eliminated. They must wait through one rotation of four roll-offs before they're eligible again. So in essence, uh, there are seven roll-off areas represented in the Massachusetts Bowling Association providing bowlers to Candlepin Skins. So after a bowler is uh, eliminated from the program, he has to wait at least a sequence of four full roll-offs, four area roll-offs before he's eligible. So the minimum that he would have to wait is five weeks. And a big strike, Gary Casey could Poss win the skin. That's right, possibly taken away from Mike Morgan, unless Tim can throw a strike, but it's not gonna happen. So the first skin of the day, $20, goes to Gary Casey. Nice try in the spare by Tim. Shooting at the 1, 2, 7, and 10. 1, 2, 7 were eliminated, but not the 10. So a 10 box for Tim Susie. But the strike for Gary Casey wins that first skin worth $20. Second box also worth $20 here. John Baker with a solid pocket hit, and he almost gets a strike. And like Mike, leaves the six pin for the spare. Now Mike will fill his spare with seven.
Sean for the single, and he misses. Like Sean may have let up on that ball just a little bit, causing it to pull it to the left. And meanwhile, Mike Morgan puts two spares in a row. Sean has to settle for a 10 box. Now let's get it out of the way. We all know Mike is Tom's good looking brother. <laughs> And so little, I know we're going little, to say Tom and little brother. So, yes. Tom is the older. <laughs> so uh, we'll get it out of the way. Then I won't say Tom again. I don't think anyone could blame us if we did. <laughs> he was here so long. Tim going to shoot at the five and eight with a piece of wood across the front. Looks pretty good. That yeah, is good. So that will create a carryover with spares. And ooh, tough luck for Gary Casey, just five on his strike. And a seven box. So not taking full advantage of that strike in the first, Gary Casey. The carryover makes the third box worth $40 now. As always, we want to thank you for taking time out of your busy weekend, especially this Super Bowl weekend, That's to join great. us here on Candlepin Skins. Don't forget, you can uh, start your Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. At noon, we will have Candlepin Stars and Strikes as we begin a brand new four-week series at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. Tomorrow we will have Rich Hallberg and Dan Broder. Three in a row now for Mike Morgan with a big nine fill on that second spare and followed it up with a spare in the third. So three consecutive spares for Mike. Nine box for Sean Baker, who's still looking for his first mark. Well, last time Mike put a spare up, Gary came up through a strike to steal the skin. Don't forget, this is a carryover. Oh, that looked good again, but not this time. Now Tim will fill his spare. Wow, thin hit, but they're oh, still they're falling. Still oh, my! Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> to win the skin. How about that? I don't know if Tom, uh, Tom, okay, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if Mike was really clapping for him on that shot. That was painful. <laughs> a $40 skin for Tim Susie and just a six box for Gary Casey. Let's uh, take a look. I don't know how slow we're going to be able to roll this. It'll it's take only, the rest of the hour. It's, yeah, it's only an hour show. There's the five pin, the 10, and finally the six. Sean Baker in desperate need of his first mark. Now well, it's going to be a good one right through the middle. Spread eagle minus the 10 pin. 3-6 on the right, 2-4-7 left. Mike Morgan missing the head pin, but gets a good break. Leaves just. Wait a minute. He may get another one. Just he does. Nine pin. Just leaves just a 9 pin. <laughs> wow. That pin rolling may be out of play. May have to check that. We'll see. I think by Mike's... Uh, Mike's right. waving it. He's trying to yeah. get it back on the plate. And it's going to and probably roll out of the way. Well, Mike has thrown three nine drops in the first four boxes. Looking for his fourth spare in a row. And he's got it. Oh, great out. Nearly a spectacular 10 box for Sean Baker. Well, Mike again puts a spare up. Hasn't been good enough for winning any skins with spares. He's taken strikes so far. $25 skin, by the way, here in the fourth. Tim will fill the strike. Oh, that close to a double. That's a third nine drop, leaving just a six pin on lane four. Well, Gary Casey threw a strike on his first ball of the match, but he has struggled since then. Let's see what Tim Susie can do here. Uh, Mike is, uh, Tim rather, is trying to 
plead with that wood to get out of the way on the six pin. I think he may be able to see just a little bit of that six, but he's going to have to be real low on the wood. Anything up close to that red line, I think it's going to deflect around the six pin. And he's going way up high. Got oh, it. He's going way at the other end. Good shot. Gary trying to work out of the half Worcester and. Creates a carry over in the fourth frame. Gary takes a nine. It does indeed. The fifth box will be worth $50. And Mike Morgan working on four spares in a row will fire first. Right on the head pin again, but this time, not a spare leave. And I really have to work with this one. Three, six on the right with the four pin. Sean missing the head pin, leaving the one, seven, and nine. And try to split the three and the six. Uh, enough to pull that wood out of the channel, but not enough to catch the four. Mm, wow, not much happening on that shot for Sean Baker as he leaves the seven and the nine. Ten box for Mike and 82 half for Mike Morgan. Nine for Sean Baker, still looking for his first mark. He's at 45 through five. So for the moment, certainly advantage Mike Morgan and Tim Susie here as they have been putting the marks together. Pocket hit for Gary Casey, and oh, he will have backwards. And, oh, that close to a strike. And, and there is, is a strike. strike. Tim Zussi's fourth mark in a row. As and he's gone spare strike, spare strike, and he will win the $50 skin here in the fifth. Susie has $90 in skins already. And there's a spare for Gary Casey. So we come to our first break. Mike Morgan marked the first four boxes. Tim Susie has marked the last four boxes as we go to a break here on Candlepin Skins. Don't go away. Candlepin Skins is brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream. Sean Baker on the left, Mike Morgan on the right, as we pick it up with box number six in game one here on Candlepin Skins. Brought to you in part by Tri-State Megabucks. And now with Mega Cash, choose your dream, Tri-State Megabucks. Boy, Sean Baker just can't get a break. No, this time the four, seven, and 10 Three pieces of wood left on the plate, but uh, let's see what Mike does. Drop seven, four, six, seven left. Similar leaves here. Sean Baker has more wood on the plate, so that would seem to give him a better. I think he'd want to play the one to the right. Let's see, yeah, that's what he's trying, but he didn't like it, but he came a lot closer than I <laughs> thought, or he thought he was going to. Let's see what Mike can do. He has to snap this all the way over, and uh, he's trying to be very fine with it and didn't get enough of it. Nine for Sean. And Mike makes sure he gets his nine. So two open boxes in a row now for Mike Morgan after the four spares. This is a $25 skin here in the sixth. Tim Soucy throwing on a strike now. He's got four marks in a row. Tim's got one of those games going that's easy to keep score. <laughs> Everything ends in zero so far. And he'll have another shot of the spear, the one, three, six, and eight, but the way the wood is positioned uh, should help him with the back pin. Just three on a spare for Gary Casey. First order of business for Tim would be to catch that head pin, though. Oh, he's going no. left. So eight on the strike, and nine leads for the skin right now. And this could get interesting. Interesting. 
Oh, Tim <laughs> pulled it again. That's an eight. We could have a carryover with nines unless uh, Gary converts this. Oh, he did for the skin. That's a $25 skin on the 10 box for Gary Casey. Gary and Tim have won all of the skins so far. $30 now here in the seventh. And a spare leave on the one, two. Sean Baker. Oh, desperate for a mark, and he throws the bomb. What a shot. That was a quick one, too. And much needed, as you said, Doug. I think Sean was a little angry when he threw that one. <laughs> a little frustrated. Oh, Mike slides by. I don't often see Mike miss shots like that. That strike for Sean Baker was explosive. Oh, boy. They did collapse in a hurry. And Gary Casey has had a funny game. He threw a strike to start out. Hasn't really done much since. And there's another strike. <laughs> Where Sean that... finally gets a mark. And... <laughs> Carry over automatically created with the strikes. Gary just won't let him have the skin. Tim Susi will be open, but he will still be the pinfall leader at this point. His lead single digits over Mike Morgan. Six, pi six pins, in fact, the lead. Tim Susi over Mike. There's Gar uh, Gary Casey's strike. Carry over with the strikes. $60 skin now here in the eighth. And Sean will fill his strike. Look out. Ooh, boy, that looked good going into the 1-3 pocket, but a tough split here. Mike Morgan will have a spare leave again on the 1-2. Yeah, the same two pins he just missed the previous box for the spare. Just sliding by to the right. Let's see what Sean does with a 4, 7, and 10. Piece of wood, two pieces of wood, and one right directly in front of the, or way out in front of the 4 7. Will he play the V? And I think that's what he intended to do, was play the intersection of the wood, and he just didn't get it there. And Mike converts this time for the spare. Sean takes a nine box, filling his strike with seven. So he's at 80 through eight. Mike Morgan with the spare up in the eighth. And He's had a few spares up, but no skins to show for it. Spread eagle for Tim. Gary Casey working on a strike. Would like a double to win the skin and help his total pinfall. But Bills has been his problem so far. Ooh, going to be a big shot by Gary Casey if there's going to be another carryover. Mike Otherwise, Morgan yeah. could get his first skin right here. Oh, <laughs> yes, he does. But not without a little hesitation. A $60 skin in the eighth for Mike Morgan, his first. Nine for Tim Susi and a 10 for Gary Casey. So we move to the ninth, which will also be worth $30. Candle Pin Skins brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always the real thing. Always Coca-Cola. So everybody but Sean Baker now has won a skin. Sean on lane three here at Pilgrim Lanes. And another powerful ball and a tickle on the eight pin, but it'll be a nine drop. Six drop on Mike Morgan's spare. Trying to make it two in a row, doesn't happen. Now Sean 
for the spare on the eight pin. Look out. Oh, look wow. out, look out, look out. <laughs> <laughs> what, three times the ball yes. went by? And the eight pin is still there. Mike takes nine. And Sean will take the 10 box. Let's take a look at that Sean Baker attempt. He's too far left. Ball goes behind it, comes back in front, comes back in front again. Everything but hit it. Gary Casey bidding for his third strike. That close. Tim Susi. Well, Tim's going to have an interesting shot here. The one, nine, and ten. But first, we turn our attention to this single pin for Gary Casey, and he's got it for a spare. And that will win the skin unless Tim Susi can match it here. Got a chance if he hits the head pin. He's yes. got it. A carryover in the ninth. That will create a big tenth box worth $105. And, and here's the spare by Tim Susan. There's no problem with that wood directly in front of the 9-10. The ball just carried right through for the other two. Sean Baker. Just missing the head pin and nearly got a backdoor strike. Oh my, Mike Morgan takes out the one and the nine, and that's it. That is not easy to do. Uh oh, Sean let that one get away. Oh, how about that shot? Mike Morgan just bailing out. That's the shot Sean Baker wanted, but it's only a 10 box and an even 100 game. And Mike Morgan takes nine for a 134 after a hot start. This is a $105 skin. Tim and Gary now both working on spares. Tim takes eight. Gives himself the 5-7. Tim's going to win this first game, by the way. Not, Gary. Not easy spare leave for Gary either with a triangle, but that piece of wood may hurt the shot. Well, 10 leads for the skin right now. And let's see if we get a carry over here. Yes, Tim Susi creates the carry over with 10 boxes, and he will win game one. And Gary Casey does a nice job on the wood, slides it over also for a 10 box. So no marks in the 10th. We will have a carry over skin worth $125 when we come back on the other side. And 142 for Tim Susi leads after game one. Mike Morgan just eight pins behind. We'll be back with game two in a minute. On well, before we get to game two, a quick check on the winnings in game one. Of course, we have a large carryover that uh, affects these totals, but Tim Susi has won the most money so far at $90. Mike and Gary are also on the board. Sean's still waiting. But as we move to game two now, we have a $125 carryover skin left over from the last two boxes of uh, game one. So nice little piece of change to pick up. Yeah. Early in the second game. First try it will be Mike Morgan. We've seen a lot of strikes today already. Yes, and there's an, almost another one. Mike's going to have the five pin to shoot at. And look out, there's another nine pin drop. Looks like it might take a strike to win this skin. Oh my. Wow, what was Mike thinking, he's saying to himself. <laughs> I don't know if he intended to go that far left, but Mike kind of uh, put the gun to his head with his fingers after he uh, turned around from that shot. Sean Baker gets his single pin for a spare. So it's just a 10 for Mike and an opportunity lost. 
let's uh, see what happened on this. He just went too far left, caught the tip of the wood and sent the wood to the right, the ball to the left, and nothing touched that five. Yeah, straight back was the play there, and Mike knew he had made a mistake. So yeah, he just let it go. It's just one of those that you, you take for granted. You just don't take that extra time, the extra concentration, and just threw a bad ball. We've seen a couple of balls like that uh, today on what were apparently easy spare leaves. Nothing easy, I suppose, in these circumstances, but still spare leaves that you would expect to make, and we've seen a couple miss today. And there's a spare for Gary Casey, creating a carryover again. Oh, and Tim, a little heavy on the head pin, took out the one, two, left the four. Remember at the bottom of the screen is a running total. The first game in every box that's bowled or completed here in the second game will give you a running total. Here's the conversion for Gary Casey on the one nine. Oh, took a little bit of wood coming off the wall to get that nine. And there's what Dan was talking about at the bottom of the screen on the computer. The cumulative totals of the two games so that you can keep an eye where the bowlers are. So now we have a $145 second box. And Sean Baker has a solid nine drop. That's on a spare, by the way. He was low man, too, as after the first game. Spare nine's going to help his cause a little bit. Mike drops eight, and now we're going to have John Mazzetti, who's working the lob line and the pin deck for us today, check that piece of wood in front of the four pin and break for Sean Baker as it comes forward of the Deadwood line. So that will give Sean a clear shot at this spare. Cindy Sissom working the big scoreboard for us here as always. Watch out. Well, we talked about that. There's another one. Now those are the mistakes you remember at the end of the match. It's spare by Mike Morgan. Well, Sean Baker is definitely going to be thinking about these later. That's the third single pin that he's missed for a spare. And since he uh, is now running in fourth position, he cannot afford to miss any more, you would think. All right, $145, remember, on the line here in the second. A spare up for Mike Morgan and a spare leave for Tim Soucy. Gary Casey working on a spare now. Good pocket hit, nine drop. Well, he might have another carryover, I was going to say, two uh, excellent chances to create another carryover. For the spare, Tim oh. doesn't get it. Oh, big so shot for Gary. There sure is. Single pin to create the carryover. And he missed it. So that gives the $145 skin to Mike Morgan. And Mike is now up to $205 today. Well, again, looked like two really certainly makeable spare possibilities for Gary and Tim, and neither one of them was able to convert. Mike says, thank you very much, and <laughs> puts the check in his pocket. Not only that, but Mike marks when nobody else does here in the second. So an opportunity for him to gain some ground. He's running in second place right now. And he'll fill his spare with seven. The third box worth $20 after the big carryover win by Mike Morgan. bowling balls dancing all over the plate but not mocking anything down though right <laughs> <laughs> nice 10 box for Mike Mike was upset at himself there missing the head pin he could have very easily had three in a row unfortunately he only has one showing and still fighting out for first and second this is what happened with Sean Baker's ball <laughs> finding all the open spaces Gary Casey sitting in third position at this point. Good break there in the nine. Leaves himself the four seven. And a nine drop for Tim Susi. Gary converts his spare after missing a single in the last box. Or he could have had three in a row also. 
create the carryover. Tim Susi gets his spare as well. So the fourth box goes to $45. Candlepin skins brought to you in part by Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Come to Salem and save Rockingham Toyota Dodge Nissan. Sean Baker with the half Worcester. And Mike Morgan goes through the heart with the spread eagle plus the nine pin. It'll be that time for Sean. He's got to make a, an offensive move here. How many boxes left, and what was that? <laughs> Mike's wondering the same thing. <laughs> Eight box for Sean. And Mike needs a good third ball here now. And he'll take seven. Mike is in second place still, but remember, uh, Gary Casey in third has a mark up. As does Tim, so. Very interesting here, going down the final six frames. First, Tim Susie working on the spare. With the big fill, nine. Almost had them all. His mm -hmm. second nine drop in a row. It's just an eight box up there for the skin. Gary Casey with six on his spare. This would be a big shot for Tim because it would take a real great shot to carry over by Gary. Oh, no. That is a nine box, folks. He hit the wood in the channel. Nine leads for the skin right now, though. Well, <laughs> let's see. Can Gary get two of these? Tim's smile. He says, geez, he's going to make a shot here. He's going to get two of these pins, two of the three. You know, if he gets two, he may get the third one. Oh! oh I told you. <laughs> you called that one. So Gary wins that $45 skin with a 10 box. And a spectacular 10 it was as he takes the 1, 9, and 10 to win the skin. That doubles Gary's skins total for the day. Uh, make it the 2, 9, and 10, it was. Sean Baker still does not have a skin. Oh and boy. wow, he just cannot buy a break either. The 1 and the 9. Well, Gary Casey with that spare 6-10 climbed within seven pins of Mike Morgan in second place. Tim Susie still leading. Uh-oh. Sean Baker did not want to throw the ball there. Knocking out just the five pin. Mike takes his 10. And wow, just a four box for Sean. We see in that fourth box with Gary Casey winning the skin with a 10. We had a 10, a 9, an 8, and a 7. A lot of excitement, though, with that skin going with the 10 box. Yeah, no jack. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, just sliding by on the left. Leaves himself the four horsemen. That's Gary Casey. And Look out. Big nine pin drop for Tim. 10 is up there for the skin. It's going to take us some kind of a spare. No, oh, got There's it. One. Gary gets his. Do we have a carryover? We do indeed. Oh. As Tim sneaks by with his. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't too sure of that one. He had to lean a little bit. Well, that was his third consecutive nine drop. He's made two out of three, and he is still leading in total pinfall. The battle for second right now, Mike. Morgan and Gary Casey just seven pins apart. We'll be back to finish the match here on Candle Pin Skins. Don't go away. We are back. Sean Baker and Mike Morgan ready for the sixth box, which is a carryover skin worth $50. And Sean needs marks. He is uh, at 149. Then comes 181 for Gary, 188 for Mike, and 200 for Tim. Total pinfall up to this point.
Sean working on the half Worcester. Oh no. Wow. And Sean will take a six. Mike takes 10. Mike Morgan is cooled off. He has only one mark here in this second game. Had some chances early in this game, though. Yep. Well, number one right now is Tim. He's working on a spare. And number three, soon to be number two, I think, is Gary Casey. He'll be working on a spare. Tim gets seven on his mark. And Gary will take six. Interesting shots here. Let's see if either one of them can convert. Yes, Tim Susi with his second mark in a row. Could win the skin unless Gary Casey matches it. And a tougher shot there. Yes, the wood killed it, really. So give the $50 skin to Tim Susi. He's up to $140 now. And Gary Casey takes 10. Take a look at that spare for Tim Susie. The three, seven, and 10. Just twisted the wood in front of the three and sent the three into the seven. Ball kept going for the 10. And now we'll shift uh, that all important total pinfall. One pin separating Mike and Gary for second place. Tim comfortably out in front and also working on a spare. Oh, and Mike Morgan with the half Worcester. Sean not out of it, but I would say he probably have to put up three or four marks going out. Oh, another Boy. half Worcester. A half Worcester on each side here. Oh, Mike Morgan with a great effort. Nearly converting. Mike takes 10. Oh, boy. Sean is just struggling for answers right now, it seems. Well, 10 leads for the skin, Mike Morgan, but I'm sure Gary's thinking marks to try to catch Mike for second. Not going to be easy. Two, four, seven on the left with a 10 pin. And Tim will have the four horsemen left plus the nine. That's a five fill on Tim's spare also. Oh, Gary gave it a run. And so did Tim. Well, let's see. We have a 10 on the board already. Leading for the skin. And Gary Casey creates the carryover. The eighth box will be worth $60, and we have a terrific battle for second. Mike Morgan at 208, Gary Casey at 207, with three boxes to go. Remember, Gary Casey has finished four, second the last four weeks in a row. So his streak on the line here. Sean Baker with a spare leave on the 3-6. Mike Morgan misses the head pin. Got a little bit of a break, though. Yeah, just the one, two, four left for Mike. In desperate need of a mark. And Gary, uh, Sean's coming back door with that one, but no spear. Oh, Mike gets a mark. Big one in the eighth. After a five-box drought. Sean takes 10. Take a look at Mike's spare, the one, two, and four, very crisply made. Well, advantage Mike. It's pressure on Gary to throw a mark, try to stay with him, trailing Mike by one pin. Tim Susie, meanwhile, looks pretty secure in first at this point. I think both bowl, Mike and Gary, would have to mark out for them to catch Tim. Well, Gary's going to have a chance to match the spare put up by Mike Morgan. Tim with a chance for one also. 
Ooh, too full on the two pin. Gary converts his, though. That creates another carryover and also keeps that battle for second. Just one pin separating the two bowlers. So the ninth box will be worth $90. See the picture at the bottom of the screen. 218 for Mike Morgan, 217 for Gary Casey. That's the battle for second. Both bowlers with spares up. Mike Morgan will fill his first. This ball means a lot to Mike, but it also tells Tim something, whether he has to start looking over his shoulder. Oh, big one. Everything but the five pin. Oh, boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sean Baker hits the head pin and drives right through. That's the kind of a day it's been for Sean. Another spare in the ninth. Mike keeps the pressure on. And all of a sudden, if uh, Gary Casey were to fill this spare the same way Mike didn't get another one, Tim is now going to have to start looking at, I might need another mark to finish in the top two. Yeah, this could get interesting if uh, Gary and Mike continue to apply the pressure here. So Mike has five pins within Tim, but Tim has a box in hand. Of course, he hasn't bowled at ninth frame yet. Oh, just two on Gary's spare. Very costly. Oh, Tim Susie with the big ball, though. He leaves just the seven. Mike has the spare up in the ninth as far as the skin goes. Oh, and Gary is in some trouble now. Let's see if Tim can create another big carryover. Yes, he does for our last skin of the day. We had a $145 skin earlier. Now our last skin of the day is going to be worth $165, and Gary Casey with just a four box. Oh. So that's going to put him in a double strike situation. That's right. At least. All Mike sudden, could close him out. Right. All of a sudden, the close match now looks like Mike and Tim, but we've got some skins to settle. Carry I'll over say. here in the ninth. Yeah, $165, the last skin of the day. And of course, Sean Baker, who has not won a skin yet, that would be poetic justice maybe if Sean were to at least get out of here with some skins money. So he's concentrating on this box right now. He cannot hit the head pin, though. Remember, if there's a carry over here in the 10th, all four bowlers would be eligible for the first extra box to settle the skin. Now, Mike Morgan's got a spare leave. Watch out for the cap, but he converts it. Sean Baker takes an eight. Sean, I don't think he's going to want to save the tape of this one. <laughs> no, it's one of those days, and he was the, uh, the highest bowler in the uh, recent roll-off, too, at 681. But you just never know. Mike Morgan now will fill that last spare with a oh, yeah. strike. What a finish. That strike, remember, does not count for the skin. What counts for the skin here in the 10th is just the spare, the original spare. He went from 74 in the 7th to finish with 131 and assure himself a return next week. Yes, he has closed out uh, Gary Casey already. So the only thing to be determined now is who's going to walk out of here with that last $165 skin. And Tim and had a break with a 7-pin going down that I think we missed. It was a late topple there on the seven pin. All right, now here is what it comes down to. Mike Morgan will win this last skin unless one of these guys can convert a spare here. And certainly Tim Susie has the better opportunity. Let's see. Oh, oh do you believe it? My. Oh, my. Well, unless Gary Casey, <laughs> he's turned around now. He knows <laughs> that he's going to make this shot or else Mike Morgan will take that last big skin home. Mike's going to have himself a big day money-wise if Gary doesn't make this shot. Oh, oh he gave it a chance. And Mike, you see the right part of your screen. With his hands up in the air in victory, he'll finish second in total pinfall, but he'll be our big money winner of the day. Ten boxes for both Gary and Tim. And we'll get a look at those final totals. Tim Susie wins it in total pinfall, his third consecutive week in first place at 270. Mike Morgan with a garrison finish to finish at 
265, he'll take second. And we will see his shot going out, the Tim Susie spare attempt that almost created the carryover. Tim is the overall winner. Mike finishes second, and we'll be back with more on Candlepin Skins after these words. All right, we're back on Candlepin Skins. The total pinfall looks like this. Great battle between Tim Susie and Mike Morgan, but Tim takes first for his third win in a row. Mike Morgan will be back next week with a strong finish for second place. Gary Casey third, Sean Baker fourth. Here's the money situation. Mike Morgan, the big winner, of course, thanks to winning those two biggest skins of the day, the 145 and the 165 at the end. Tim Susie and uh, Gary Casey also getting on the board. Sean Baker will get a $75 uh, consolation prize, so he won't go away empty-handed, but a great match today. That's right. Uh, Tim kind of consistent all day, hung it together, and the other bowl, all bowlers missed some easy shots. Mike was able to rally in the end, and that's why he's winning. We are all out of time. Don't forget, tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday. We hope you'll start your day with us at 12 noon for Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a good weekend, everybody.